in this video, we are doing an inventory update from FTP. FTP, you love it, you hate it, it's never going away. So here's how we can work with it easily. Pull your CSV file in on some kind of a schedule. Here's what this demo one looks like. We've got the SKU. I don't know what that date field is, I'm going to be honest with you. We've got inventory levels. That's the important thing. Okay. Now, first things first, we're going to drop into our code step and decode that CSV. We've got a handy dandy little CSV helper to decode that for you. Drop it into the payload. All right. Next, we're going to loop over the rows, obviously. And uh, here's where things get a little tricky. Okay. I'm not going to lie to you. Getting the inventory item ID from a SKU is somewhat non-trivial. And that's why I've popped into GraphQL here <laughs> to grab that for you. Lucky for you, you don't have to write this and troubleshoot this for nine hours straight. You can just copy and paste it. All right. So that's going to give you, you don't realize quite how proud I am of that little snippet of code, but that's okay. Moving on. Now you're just going to go ahead and set the uh, inventory level on the jobby there. Okay. And we even tested this uh, here for you, obviously, to show you that it works. I would not lie to you. I would not uh, attempt to deceive you in any way. And we've got the inventory level set. Hope that helps. I'm going to link up this template here in the video so that you can use it if you want. You can import it directly into your store. And, of course, reach out to support if you need anything. Gosh darn it.